Mr. Markey. Guilty. Mr. Markey, guilty. Mr. Markey. Guilty. What was that like to stand up in the United States Senate and pronounce a president guilty twice? Uh, it was uh, a profound moment. Um, I have cast thousands of votes in my congressional career. But um, to remove a president of the United States uh, for high crimes and misdemeanors against our country, proven really beyond a reasonable doubt by Hakeem Jeffries and Adam Schiff and all of those House managers in their brilliant presentation to the Senate, was um, one of the most memorable moments of my life. Um, history was in the making, but without question, he was guilty. He had committed those crimes. He was deserving of removal. And the standard which the Republicans have now established is that uh, there is no standard that he got a get out of political jail free card from the Republicans yesterday. And when we were looking over at the Republicans all voting not guilty, we were really in fear for our country because we realized as Democrats that the Republicans have crossed over and descended into a political abyss uh, following Donald Trump's leadership because he will feel no constraints. He will feel there's nothing that he can't do in his own advancement, that the national security of our country is now subordinated to his own personal agenda, and that they are now complicit in whatever happens for the rest of this year, which then makes this election really a, rec a, a referendum on what kind of country that we want. Do we want it to be moral? Do we want it to be a rule of law? Do we want it to be something that has decency and love at its heart? Or do we want Donald Trump to have four more years with these Republicans almost supine in their support of him? So I, I sat there as, as I watched um, um, the Republicans vote, with the exception of Mitt Romney, uniformly to, uh, to uh, acquit him. But I now fear for my country if the Republicans um, uh, do not understand what the consequences of their actions are. And I fear that they do not. In their hearts, they may, but operationally, they have now changed our country fundamentally forever. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on the button below for more from The Last Word and the rest of MSNBC.